there is no single answer to uh, this kind of complex, complex question. According to research done from Dalhousie University, more and more Canadians are choosing a vegetarian or a vegan diet. A major reason? Cows releasing gas into the atmosphere throughout their day. So for some, choosing a veggie diet will help limit their carbon footprints. But how much does choosing a meatless meal really help? Animal-based food tend to have a higher footprint than plant-based plant one. In the U.S. have done studies to look at, well, what would happen if, they, if people completely uh, went vegan? And at the end of the day, it reduced emissions by 2.6%. Karen Boschman is based out of Lethbridge. She's in the heart of cattle country. Alberta has the most cows in Canada, with more than 18,000 cattle producers in the province. The other industry that runs the province, oil and gas. And a lot of eyes are on this sector as Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announces at COP26 that he's pushing for carbon caps. As for the livestock industry, there are no federal targets, but there is working research. We've been looking at one feed additive and it is a compound that you would feed the animal every day and it inhibits, it, it blocks the enzymatic pathway in the rumen that leads to that methane formation. Feed additives are still in the process of receiving approval in Canada, but there are other ways to help eliminate methane from cattle. Proper management. Better nutrition, better genetics, better management, uh, better reproductive performance. Boschman emphasizes that while cows emit methane, it's part of a recycling process and is in the atmosphere for less than a decade. She says if we keep the same level of livestock, the methane level stays steady too. And a part of that is on the consumer. You can choose uh, to uh, eat uh, more local products. You can choose to eat uh, products with a specific label, such as uh, grass-fed, such as organic. And when you choose to do that, what will happen is that, well, the farmers, the ranchers will understand, will get the signal, the market signal. In Calgary, Christy Kilburn, City News.